Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Chef Jeff Keeney. We're going to make a goat cheese stuffed chicken today. These are ingredients that we need to prepare this dish. We have a boneless, skinless chicken breast. We have our goat cheese. Uh, we have two different types of herbs. Um, this is parsley and this is oregano. These are cherry tomatoes halved, sliced roasted red peppers, flour, and then a little salt and pepper. Okay, to start off our dish, you want to take a chicken breast. And what I like to do is make a little pocket in it. So I put the chicken breast flat on the cutting board, and I take our knife, and we just gently cut a little pocket right in the center, just enough to stuff the goat cheese and peppers in. So now that I got the pocket cut, I take a little bit of our goat cheese, and I put the goat cheese in first, that way it can melt throughout the chicken. And we take a little bit of our roasted red peppers and we stuff it right into the chicken. And then we take a little of our oregano and we stuff it right in there along with everything else. And then we just kind of fold down the chicken. And that is our stuffed chicken ready to be prepared. Put a little flour in our mixing bowl. And then to the flour we want to add our herbs. So we take our flat leaf parsley. A little salt and pepper. Mix this up a little bit and we want to dredge our chicken right into it. What I like to do is I just like to pat it down. And now the chicken is ready for our pan. We're going to get our pan nice and hot. We're going to put a little butter in the pan. Let that heat up for a minute. And then to that pan we want to add our chicken breast. But you want to make sure it's hot so it sears the chicken. So we have our chicken into our butter. We're going to let it sear off about two or three minutes on each side to get a nice color on it. And then we're ready to transfer it into the oven to finish it the rest of the way. After we get the sear on our chicken, we're going to transfer it right to the oven. And then we're going to make our sauce. In order to make the sauce, we're going to use the same ingredients that are in the chicken. Um, we're going to start off again in the same pan we used to serve for chicken to retain the flavor. We're going to put a little whole butter. We're going to put a little bit of shallot. The roasted red peppers we used earlier. Uh, we're going to do the half cherry tomatoes. We'll drop them in there. Now at this stage, we're going to add a little flour to thicken our sauce, kind of bring everything together. So what I like to do is just put a pinch right on top of the tomatoes and then swirl it around into your pan. And now we're almost there. Uh, last two ingredients, a little bit of white wine, and just a touch of chicken stock. OK, and then to finish it, we're going to let it reduce a little bit. We're going to add that same oregano. We're going to add that same flat leaf parsley right to the pan, and a little salt and pepper. And that is your sauce. Just let it keep reducing down until it gets a little thick. And that will go right on top of our chicken. All right, so now our chicken should be done. Take it out of the oven, right to the cutting board. And what I like to do for the chicken is I like to cut it on a nice angle all the way through, and we can see the roasted red pepper, you can see the goat cheese. And now to finish our dish, uh, I usually like to serve it with wild rice. So I have some wild rice here. And again, I hit it with those same herbs we used in our chicken dish, um, the flat leaf parsley and the oregano. And then we take it to the plate. I like to put the wild rice right on the end of the plate. I take our chicken, fan it out on the plate. Again, so if I could see the goat cheese, if I can see the roasted red peppers. Now our sauce should be done reducing. We have the cherry tomatoes, the herbs, the garlic, the shallots. We take it right to the plate. What I like to do, I don't like to cover up the goat cheese and peppers. So you want everybody to see that. We worked hard to stuff it in there. And take it right down the plate. It's a fine little trick. You can put a couple cherry tomatoes up on the rice. Give it a little color. And that is goat cheese stuffed chicken. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen for cooking goat cheese stuffed chicken. Happy cooking.